Welcome to IBM Cognos webinar uh, by Man Magics. Uh, today we have a webinar session. Uh, to uh, the intention was to give a brief uh, introduction about the Cognos and uh, various features in Cognos and the key aspects and uh, uh, in the Cognos. Uh, before going to okay, uh, here uh, we are Mind Magics. Uh, uh, we are a global online training platform. Uh, we use to uh, train uh, the students across all the globe. Okay, uh, we have uh, across uh, 500 IT courses. We have 500 plus IT courses. We use to train, and we offer uh, various ranges of uh, you know, training and um, uh, trainings. Okay, like uh, we can uh, we provide you customizable courses, even self-paced videos. Uh, we will provide you. Uh, all the training recordings and videos and we will uh, guide you uh, throughout the trainings and uh, we will provide you job support as well okay and we have jobs assistance for you okay uh, we are a global online training uh, platform uh, as uh, uh, this is a webinar session in this uh, webinar suggestion uh, session i would like to uh, go through these topics Okay, uh, what is IBM Cognos and its advantages and its architect and we will go through some of the component important components uh, in the IBM Cognos and their key features of IBM Cognos and how it will work. Okay, how a Cognos will work. Okay, we will go through that and uh, we will start with a simple uh, Cognos report how uh, we need to get started with IBM Cognos and how to create a model in it and uh, uh, following we will uh, see the topics like uh, report studio on different type of objects in it and how to create a dashboard and the reports okay uh, currently the market trend is very good for uh, creating the dashboards and reports uh, on various platform uh, reporting tools and uh, we will discuss what are all the various current uh, uh, career and the job opportunities we have okay uh, um, if you have learned uh, this IBM Cognos and, uh, and followed by question and uh, answer sessions. Okay, uh, let me go to uh, introduce what is Cognos, IBM Cognos. Okay, uh, this IBM Cognos is a reporting tool. Generally, we call them as a reporting tool, and it is a, a business intelligence tool. Okay, that is web based business intelligence tool. Okay, uh, the, it is sued, uh, provided by IBM. Okay, currently, uh, IBM has. Uh, uh done so many changes and they have take, uh, uh they have introduced so many concepts uh in ibm cognos okay earlier it was ibm cognos 10.1 and 10.2 and after that uh, ibm has uh, come up with ai okay artificial intelligence uh, they have inbuilt they have introduced uh, artificial intelligence uh, in ibm cognos and uh, they have renamed it with ibm cognos uh, analytics platform okay with the uh, versions like 11.02 11.1 versions like uh, they are introducing okay let me show you a simple welcome screen of ibm cognos okay and ibm will also provide us a 90 days free trial okay like this and uh, the current uh, trend is uh, more on visualization and analyze analysis okay uh, it is uh, good to have visualizations okay if any reporting tool is good with uh, uh, visualization okay the market trend is very good for that reporting tool because uh, other vendors like tableau and uh, power bi uh, they are also uh, doing good with the visualizations and uh, ibm also uh, master in doing uh, visualizations uh, like creating dashboards and even stories they have introduced a new concept in IBM Cognos, okay, and uh, analysis uh, generally in any in every organizations uh, we do a lot of analysis of what is happening inside my organization, okay, by by doing analysis, okay, and visualization uh, together uh, the all the combination uh, we have in IBM Cognos, okay, and IBM will support deployment options like uh, public private or on premises and ibm cloud okay uh, 
now currently uh, some of the organizations are going uh, for cloud version of uh, uh, ibm cognos uh, you know the uh, uh, generally we know the difference between what is cloud and on premises and public and private networks public network means it will be generally available to every public users and private means within the organization you will be maintain all the server of cognos okay that is private server on premises means uh, uh, if within the organization uh, you can maintain you can have your server you can install the software of ibm cognos and you will maintain and access and securities everything will be you will be maintained okay as a developer or administrator okay on premises will be having uh, all the servers in your hands okay on the cloud means if your organization is uh, some organization will go for uh, uh, cloud version because uh, uh, they to overcome the burden while maintaining the uh, servers okay as a software as a service uh, they will choose option software as a service option and they will uh, go with the option like ibm cloud okay these are all, these are all the various deployment options we have in ibm cognos okay now uh, coming to the advantages of cognos okay there are uh, some uh, very good features in ibm cognos okay which are not uh, even you not able to find even uh, other reporting tools uh, like uh, in cognos we have a self servicing reporting and authoring tool that means what is meant by self servicing and reporting and authoring means okay you can create your own uh, folders and uh, folder structure and reports within that okay ibm will provide two folders like uh, team content this is public okay all the content in this folder will be visible to your organization users okay if they have access okay and here we have my content okay that is visible to you only this is a private folder okay and you can create your own reports and you can analyze the data and you can make a final report within the team content okay and, and this is a self servicing uh, reporting and authoring tool okay uh, we can create your own folder structure and you can have your reports in that and ibm will have great visualizations and we can easily create dashboards okay in by using ibm cognos okay let me show you a simple dashboard okay uh, here in team content we have all the samples Okay, this is like a one real time dashboard. We can create a dashboard like this uh, uh, by using a data and uh, we can easily analyze the data uh, inside the organization and by using these dashboards. And we can simply create uh, the dashboards uh, like this by having uh, creating simply creating drag and drop options. Okay. Oh, these are all the various simple uh, dashboards uh, we can create by using IBM Cognos uh, analytics tool. And, and security, okay. Uh, IBM Cognos will provide the security uh, at enterprise level, okay. Uh, uh, this IBM Cognos will provide uh, securities at a group level. Okay, if we have a sales group of users in our organization, we can provide the securities 
uh, at a group level or else we can provide the securities at user level okay if we have individual users in my organization okay we can provide securities at uh, uh, user level and even we can provide securities at object level object level means uh, if we have any data um, table okay we can provide uh, security at table level or else we can provide securities at uh, uh, data level uh, that means uh, record level okay and these are all the hierarchies uh, we have okay we can provide the securities at group level under the groups we will be having users in ibm cognos we will be having groups and roles okay under the groups or roles we will be having users okay under the users we can provide the security for the objects securities for the objects like tables okay or else even we can provide the security at the records level by providing filters on the data okay from the bottom level to top level okay we can have uh, securities okay uh, believe me uh, uh, the ibm cognos uh, is mostly used in widely used in banking projects because of this a uh, very great advantage of securities providing the securities to the data at various levels okay and we can easily integrate it okay our ibm cognos to our enterprise portal okay it is this is like a enterprise portal we can easily integrate it uh, this ibm cognos uh, by using this url to our uh, organization's uh, portal and another great advantage of uh, ibm cognos is uh, by using uh, we uh, they have introduced apis okay application programming interfaces okay uh, by using this application programming interfaces we can optimize the uh, some functionalities and uh, we can achieve some great functionalities we already built with this apis we can use this apis various in various uh, reports okay to uh, achieve advanced reports okay uh, these are all the apis so by using apis we can connect various data source types okay uh, either it is a cloud data warehouse the oltp even uh, csv files flat files okay any type of uh, uh, so which supports apis uh, data sources we can connect uh, and we can create a reports uh, on top of it okay and another great advantage of uh, ibm cognos is uh, it is having a query studio okay uh, most of the times uh, these ibm cognos reports are used by the business users okay uh, sometimes even they don't have knowledge on sql and uh, how to create reports okay uh, by using this query studio report uh, query studio they can easily drag and drop capabilities and they can create any type of report and they can analyze the data okay this is the greater flexibility for the end users okay even if they don't have uh, knowledge on much more knowledge on ibm cognos and how to create reports okay they can use this query studio and even they can directly drag and drop their required columns on top of uh, in the report query studio and they can see the data okay these are all the advantages of ibm uh, cognos okay let me go to uh, architect okay uh, let me explain you uh, the architect of ibm cognos okay uh, this is three tier architecture okay we have uh, client server web server and cognos server and uh, we have data layer we have data layer at uh, tier 3 we have application layer at uh, tier 2 and web web server at tier 1 okay we can all these layers are uh, separated by network firewall okay each layer is separated by network network firewall uh, firewall okay uh, this is uh, soap or uh, url protocol a simple object uh, application protocol simple object access protocol okay actually uh, we can access our web server or cognos portal 
by using a simple url okay like this okay to access uh, within the browser our cognos software we must require a web server right okay between my cognos server and my user interface uh, that is my browser uh, in between we have web server okay by using this web server we are able to by using a simple url we are able to access the ibm cognos software okay we need to install uh, this uh, software if you have chosen for cloud version okay they simple they will simply provide this uh, url so that you can start uh, creating the reports on top of that version okay here we have a content store okay content store is nothing but a repository or a database for my cognos server okay uh, what does it do means okay it will save all my report outputs okay all my content related to my reports uh, folders reports report outputs all will be stored in my content store okay so uh, the advantage of having this content store is okay we can take backup easily okay uh, so that we uh, we not having chances to lose our uh, uh, reports and report outputs okay uh, our administrators will take the regular backups from this content store okay so all the reports and the report outputs will be secured anytime anywhere okay and these are all the query database and cubes even our cognos server will accept file system a database system or cube system okay uh, a metric store system okay and these many type of data sources uh, type of data sources it will accept by our cognos server and uh, we will be having a separate uh, database uh, for this entire content of my reports okay so uh, to uh, it is very easy to maintain all our uh, cognos reports at, uh, at for a big uh, enterprise level for big organizations uh, there will be uh, thousands of folders and thousands of users and thousands of lakhs of people uh, thousands of reports will be there to maintain all the users and uh, uh, report outputs and their reports uh, this content store will take place very uh, great advantage having this content store for every cognos source servers okay all the we can access our cognos server by using gateways and dispatchers okay uh, these are all the configurations we can create to this uh, gateway and dispatcher for uh, web servers and we can achieve load balancing uh, by having multiple web servers okay uh, this is the basic yeah uh, currently uh, the cognos will uh, support uh, soap so network uh, architecture as for ap accessing the applications okay by using uh, simple object access protocol okay now uh, let me go to next slide okay here we have uh, different type of components we have okay we have uh, ibm cognos pr workspace query studio analysis studio report studio event studio and cognos administration and metric studio power play studio and here we have uh, uh, these are all the web components okay that means we can access them by using url and these are all the desktop clients okay here we have a framework manager okay this is a metadata modeling tool okay by using this framework manager model and uh, this framework manager model is used to create a package and we can use that package in query studio to create reports in even in report studio as well to create reports and we have transformer to create multidimensional models and cube designers to create cubes and metric designers okay here we have data sources okay it will support dimension structures file structure ibm content and the relational data source okay we can create uh, reports by using oltp systems or olap systems or multidimensional systems okay uh, ibm uh, we just need a connection 
um, between the source of my uh, report and we can simply create a model and we can create a package on top of it we can create a report okay okay here we have uh, some of the key features in ibm cognos okay uh, as we discussed uh, uh, in cognos analytics they have introduced ai assistant okay to suggest the joint types and visualizations okay if i have uh, uh, table structures and uh, data okay if i want to analyze the data okay uh, ibm has introduced ai uh, artificial intelligence uh, algorithm uh, assistant uh, within the portal so that it will it will uh, give us suggestions okay uh, home how to take uh, create the joints and uh, how to take the visualizations what are all the visualizations it is best to produce out of that data okay and uh, we have another key feature is natural language generation okay and this is uh, currently introduced in ibm cognos uh, we can type in uh, any specific word uh, within ibm cognos so that it will search for the relevant uh, objects from it okay uh, it will fetch all the objects okay what are the different objects from uh, we have within the content okay it will process with the keyword and we it will fetch the data for us okay so this is the natural language generation okay by using that uh, feature we can easily uh, search any object within that uh, cognos portal and we have easily drag and drop capabilities to create dashboards and reports we can easily create a report in cognos by using a simple drag and drop option let me show you one report uh, how to create a simple report by dragging and dropping the query subjects or query items okay this is a report and this is uh, here we have a template okay here we have a source we can select a source okay uh, here this is the object uh, we can easily select okay any object we want to create a report and we can easily drag and drop the items query items onto it to produce a report the report creation and dashboard creation is that simple in cognos okay because we have uh, drag and drop capabilities okay okay this is the report output okay like this we can also create a dashboards and reports within that and uh, we have a Uh, data cleansing and enhanced data modeling okay we can create a data modeling even if you don't have uh, knowledge on how to model the data okay in ibm cognos within that uh, ibm portal okay uh, they have uh, a new feature called data module okay by using this data module you can create you can simply create a data module on top of it okay these are all the 
uh, query subjects, you can, you can directly simple create a relationship between them. Okay, uh, this is without a framework manager. Okay, here, uh, if you don't have access to framework manager to create model, even you can, uh, even you can create uh, models in IBM Cognos 11 portal. Okay, this is a new module it has uh, introduced, okay, in IBM Cognos Analytics. And uh, we have data integration from two or more uh, sources. Generally, uh, we can integrate, okay, all the sources, okay, uh, like different type of sources, like one is from uh, Excel file, one is from uh, a data source like Oracle. Okay, we can integrate Excel file and our uh, Cognos database, uh, sorry, Oracle database within this uh, data module and we can create a model simply here and we can create a relationship between them and we can create a report on top of it. Okay, we can easily integrate multiple sources okay to produce uh, reports uh, uh, in cognos okay and we have burst capability okay this is a very advantageous feature okay we where you can't find uh, in other reporting tools okay bursting option okay you can distribute the report output to uh, various uh, departments okay let's say for example if you have uh, uh, various departments within your organization Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, like this, we have a department's numbers we have. Okay, you can uh, uh, distribute this, this report to uh, various departments. Okay, for, for example, the 10th department data will contain only 10th department information only. 20 will contain only 20th department information only. Okay, for 30, it will they will receive only 30 department data okay like this we can uh, run a report and uh, we can divide distribute uh, this uh, data department number wise and we can distribute the data uh, to various uh, departments okay this is bursting capability okay okay here uh, this slide how uh, a cognos will work okay uh, to produce any report in cognos uh, at least we require a data source okay either it can be oltp online transaction processing or olap a, a data warehouse or a data mart or even a excel file okay anything we need a source okay we can create a connection between my source okay here we have a framework manager it is a metadata modeling tool okay it will import all the metadata okay what is metadata means uh, a data metadata is nothing but a data about the data okay which speaks about the data okay and we will import all our metadata into framework manager okay in this framework manager we will create a relationship between the uh, existing tables and we can create a package okay uh, after the after we create a package we can simply publish to our content store okay so in the our content store is the repository for our cognos okay in this content store it will have all the package specifications reports report outputs everything will be there okay from this content store we can use this package to create a report in any studio in cognos okay these are the simple seven steps okay take a data source create a data source connection import a metadata on top of we need to create a model and we need to create a package and we can publish this package to content store from those content store we can have uh, studio report Uh, in Microsoft Power BI, uh, I think uh, these many layers are uh, uh, not uh, there because uh, here we have uh, connection. Okay, anyhow, the, to the data source connection, 
uh, up to here the extent we are importing metadata even in meta, uh, power bi as well okay creating model okay and we can provide the securities for the package okay we can use this uh, same package uh, for multiple uh, report generation let's like for example here we have report studio reports analysis studio reports and uh, other query studio reports so we can gen we can have a central uh, uh, metadata specification to produce any number of reports whereas in power bi uh, i think we don't have uh, this uh, package kind of thing in microsoft power bi and security wise okay uh, ibm cognos will be top okay the the this will provide security at various levels at uh, uh, organization group level organization users level and data level object level okay uh, and pack even it at package level also we can provide the security okay now uh, coming to uh, ibm cognos getting started okay to create any report first of all we need to create a model okay and then uh, we can uh, create a report by using ibm cognos portal okay that is welcome portal and we create a report and dashboards and and then we will manage the things in the administration okay uh, here we can create a model okay uh, these are all the tables okay in cognos we call them as a query subject and we can have a relationship between them to fetch the data in my report okay first we will create a data model okay and then we will log into our ibm cognos welcome portal okay like this one okay this is a welcome portal and this is the url okay and then we will do reporting okay this is the reporting interface in the reporting we have uh, various uh, toolboxes uh, we can use simple drag and drop uh, objects on to the panes okay and we can simply create the report okay and even dashboards okay we can create uh, dashboards with very uh, great visualizations okay simple dashboards i have just i have seen you right okay by we can simply create dashboard by dragging and dropping options even we can zoom in okay this is the full screen okay of dashboard now when or even you will have a chart option you can chart with the developer okay if you have any modifications okay with that this is the filters we can apply filters on top of it okay uh, we can uh, create a dashboards uh, uh like this uh, by easily in the by using ibm cognos and then uh, the last thing is administration okay ibm uh, is also create uh, very security uh, provide securities at various levels we can create groups okay various groups and the users and we can provide securities on reports and dashboards okay how uh, here we have ibm cognos software okay uh, within the virtual machine we can we will be provide you 
Okay, if you want to put the post, okay. Okay, in framework manager is a metadata modeling tool. Okay, uh, generally we create model in three layers. Okay, in framework manager, one is database layer, another one is logical layer or business layer, or else uh, third one is business uh, dimension layer or presentation layer. Okay, database layer means uh, we will import all the metadata. Okay, in the framework manager. Okay, and we won't do any changes in this layer okay for my metadata imported tables and everything and i will apply all my logics uh, in the logical layer okay or else in business layer okay and then i will i can create a package on top of this layers and i can we can get we can get the trial version of software okay for the 90 days okay i will show you how to register for this software for the 90 days okay Okay, you can simply uh, Google with Cognos Analytics. Okay, uh, here you can start your free trial in IBM Cloud version. Okay, you can simply register with your uh, uh, personal email ID. Okay, you can set your password so that you can uh, have a 90 days free trial. Okay. By in this free trial, okay, uh, you can practice examples you need and if you opt it for the course okay we will provide you a vmware software for you to practice okay Okay, by using this report studio, we can uh, create various type of reports uh, like list report. Uh, generally, we create invoices, statements, and weekly sales reports and inventory reports. And even we can uh, create reports with uh, uh, other ob non BI objects like images, logos. Okay, uh, we have we can create advanced reports. Okay, by using uh, reporting tool. Okay, let uh, in this portal we have some good example number of examples uh reports okay we can create uh, reports uh, like this by using report studio okay this report is uh, created by using report studio okay you can create a reports like this by using report studio
okay uh, this is the simple dashboard okay uh, generally we create this dashboard okay uh, to indicate key performance indicators in our organization okay uh, here we have a simple bar chart and this is line uh, line chart with three regions and this is the cross tab okay we can place all this type of reports uh, uh, within a sheet okay and we can create uh, dashboards for key performance indicators okay easily by drag and drop options we have we can create and uh, let us uh, come for uh, careers and uh, job opportunities uh, currently the market is very good for ibm plan, uh, uh, planning analytics 11 version because uh, they they have introduced so many features in ibm planning uh, sorry ibm cognos analytics uh, 11 okay uh, uh, I, uh, if you do certifications uh, ibm will uh, provide two different type of certifications like ibm analytics other v11 and this certification for administrators okay uh, uh, if you opted for the course uh, we will guide you how to crack uh, these certifications and our training is very uh, yeah, helpful uh, helpful to and uh, uh, very enough to to crack uh, uh, certifications if you do certifications your uh, resume weightage will be uh, more okay uh, currently uh, there are a lot of opportunities uh, in the current market uh, uh, for the item cognos yeah sure uh, we will uh, provide you this uh, ppt and uh, yes, uh, mind magic will uh, support you to uh, help you to uh, do the certification okay let me go to here you can uh, uh, register for the trainings okay Okay, uh, this is our uh, IBM, sorry, uh, Mind Magic's portal. Okay, here you can have uh, uh, demo, simple demo on IBM Cognos and course overview. Okay, and we are trying so many students and they are happy with them and their ratings are uh, showing. It. Okay, uh, here we will we will be having course content. Okay, in this portal. Okay, here we have. Uh, uh, this is uh, we will prepare mock interviews and resume preparations and uh, how to uh, prepare for the interview. Okay, we will guide you through this. Okay, and we can support you on on job support and the projects. Okay. Okay, this is the three structure. We will be having EMA option. Okay, for you and uh, if you want to opt it for one one on one training, uh, we will be also providing you. Okay, here you can uh, get a demo. Okay, by clicking on this, okay, you will be provided a, a demo for uh, IBM Cognos. It's a great demo. Okay, at last uh, we will after you close the from mind magic we will provide you a certificate okay uh, this is our uh, rating and we can simply enroll for our course by this enroll button okay Okay, uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, post. Uh, 
uh, post me so that I will try to answer your questions. Okay. Uh, you may I know which topic you want to repeat? Okay, so that I can repeat it. Yeah, uh, currently uh, we have presentations uh, uh, for IBM planning analytics. If you opted for the demo, okay, uh, in the demo session, I will provide you uh, the presentation uh, that is PPT for IBM planning analytics. Okay, uh, this, uh, this sorry, uh, planning analytics for IBM PM1. Okay, I will, I will also provide the training, okay, for IBM planning analytics also. Okay, this is currently IBM Cognos Analytics 11 version demo. If you want uh, IBM planning analytics also, uh, you can opt it for the demo. Okay, from here, you can simply search IBM Cognos PM1 training. From here, you can enroll. Okay, respective person will assign it to you to have a demo on that. Yeah, sure, I will present. Yes, uh, we will provide you uh, this PPT, okay, uh, by your respective email IDs. Okay, uh, Shravan Shekhar. Uh, Okay, uh, the main benefit of this software is currently various organizations. Uh, first of all, this IBM Cognos is uh, coming from uh, very bold software. Uh, it is uh, very, stabilized, uh, very stabilized in the market. Okay, it has uh, uh, various vendors and uh, numerous uh, amount of customers uh, uh, already using this IBM Cognos software. Uh, in the Cognos analytics, they have introduced some new features like uh, a module we can create our own uh, stories and dashboards and uh, data modules uh, within the portal and uh, we can create dashboards very easily by dragging and dropping options and they have introduced ai artificial intelligence to suggest uh, to generate the reports on top of Cognos. Okay, Cognos DB means uh, we will be having two type of uh, Cognos DBs. One is content store, another one is audit. Okay, uh, we will be having, we can connect uh, through data source connections in Cognos. Okay, this is framework manager. Uh, here we have sources. You can create your own data source connection and you can connect it and uh, import the metadata. Yes, uh, we can do uh, uh, calculations. Okay, we can create our own calculations and we can use them to create reports. Yes, uh, generally we use uh, metadata to import as a package. Okay, uh, we are not. Uh, Okay. Uh, metadata is nothing but data about the data. 
which speaks uh, which speaks about the characteristics of data it is okay if we import metadata and we can create a package on top of it and we can publish this package and we can create uh, various reports okay we only import metadata from the data source okay like this uh, this is a data source from this data sources we have uh, imported this metadata and we have created a relationship between them and we can create a package and maybe we can publish it yeah anyone uh, uh, have any questions please let me know when you have uh, i will be uh, sharing this pp to your email id and uh, this is the portal okay uh, our mind magics portal okay from here you can enroll for a demo or okay you can go through this one okay we here we have all the content and various uh, things we they, we do okay this one uh, even you can opt it uh, get uh, get a free demo and take advisory and we will prepare your resumes and uh, mock interviews okay 